So this mini keyboard has a keyboard on one side, a gamepad on the other side, has backlit buttons, had the right left trigger, also has joysticks, has everything that you need for your streaming, for your gaming, in one package. And uh, with all that said and done, let's unbox it and test it out. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So today we're taking a look at the RE RK707. This is a three-in-one multifunctional remote. Now this operates at a 2.4 gigahertz frequency band. It does use a USB dongle, so you guys will need a USB port on your devices for this to work properly. As you can see there in the pictures, guys, it has backlit buttons on both sides, it has the joysticks, it has the D-pad button, it has turbo, a switch that you can switch back and forth, and it is compatible with Windows, Android, as well as your PlayStation. So let's get out of the box, we're gonna get it tested, and I'll let you guys know what my overall impressions are of this device. So here's a look at the box, nothing special a lot. It does go into some of the main features on the back. Multi-platform, has a turbo button, it does have a vibration feedback, a DPI adjustable, uh, backlit of course, and a new design where you can do gestures and do different things on the touchpad like you would on a normal touchpad. In the box, you're gonna have your quick start guide slash your user manual. It's gonna tell you everything you need to know about the device, guys. Uh, definitely worth a read. There's a couple different things you can do especially with the gamepad to change the modes uh, change it from PC to Android and so on and so forth so definitely check that out so next we have the USB receiver and of course 2.4 gigahertz this is going to plug directly into your device I also have a string where we can go ahead and attach this to the controller and I guess that way you can wrap it around your hand prevent it from falling and so on and so forth they give you a micro USB to USB a adapter for charging and the last thing in the box is going to be the controller slash keyboard itself. So first look at the device. Now, I thought the device itself was really well done. On the front, you do have some of those uh, buttons that you will normally expect on a controller. So you're going to have a select, a turbo, you have your home, clear, start, Y, B, X, and A. You have your two joysticks and you do have your D-pad on the left. And up top, you have your R1, R2, and L1, L2. Uh, obviously for different games, uh, especially with shooting games, you'll have that trigger. So important to note is that the R1 and the L1 has a click while the L2 and R2 has a tactile squeeze like it would on a trigger. Now the keyboard itself, looks great this is what we expect or uh, what we are used to seeing from retech does have the gestures on the touchpad itself uh, has the dpi settings the function that will highlight the other orange features up top has a switch that you can switch between controller and your keyboard mode so pretty cool and you can see right there when i turn the light it will switch to whichever mode i choose you also have your light as you can see here, it auto dims, so when you press the button, it comes back alive. But you also have two adjustments, so you can set it to bright or you can set it a little bit dimmer. And last but not least, if you hold, it will go ahead and turn off the LEDs, which I think was pretty cool. Uh, this is going to be the same for the controller portion. The buttons are still um, backlit on the other side as well. Now, getting the controller set up to your device is pretty simple. Plug it in, you're all steady. You plug it in on your Windows computer, we'll go ahead and install the necessary drivers for it to work properly. On the Android, unfortunately, why I have to kind of give this a, a thumbs down is because it worked sometimes and sometimes it didn't. So I was testing on my Nvidia Shield and uh, half the time it wouldn't recognize. Sometimes I had to restart the Shield. Also I had to unplug the dongle back and forth just to get it to connect. Also when you have it connected and you switch between your keyboard and your game mode, that kind of screws up everything. So it just took way more time getting it connected to Android in my opinion. Works a little bit better on Windows, but nevertheless I was able to get it connected and let's go ahead and test it out. As I said before, connected to my NVIDIA Shield uh, after some trial and error, and the keyboard portion of this worked flawlessly, guys. I was able to move up and down. I was able to use the mouse function. I was able to use my two fingers to scroll up and down, double click, and I did go ahead and use the buttons and the escape. Everything worked fine. The backlit buttons look beautiful, and if you're using this as a keyboard, strictly a keyboard, uh, you won't be disappointed, guys. I did notice when I had it in keyboard mode that sometimes my fingers will hit 
the joysticks in the back which is kind of annoying but it didn't really make a difference because that side of the controller is not activated once you're in keyboard mode so you can see i went to the web page i was able to type properly i was able to surf i was able to go up and down on the page no issues using the keyboard side on the unit now using this as a game controller is where it's hit or miss and let's start with the windows side on windows this works beautifully the keyboard works the trackpad works flawlessly the all the buttons on the keyboard as far as the gamepad work flawlessly on the windows side as well so make sure you switch the mode button in the middle i did have to switch it to get it working properly but once i got to the proper mode there was no issues there guys the trigger buttons worked r1 r2 the joystick worked as well work flawlessly and if you're looking to do some gaming on a windows pc or mini pc or anything with the windows operating system this is definitely worth it so using this as a game controller is where it got real tricky as i said before it was difficult switching from the keyboard back to the game controller on the nvidia shield and it, it just flat out did not recognize the unit or I had to unplug it or restart the Nvidia Shield after I made that switch. So that's going to be real annoying in my opinion. So after I was able to get it connected after a lot of time, a lot of trial and error, I started to play a game where I, I tried to map the buttons and for the most part it was working. However, I could not map the joystick. So not having the ability to do that kind of makes it useless. So I wasn't able to properly navigate through the game. Because I only had a D-pad to play with, I could either move or look. So I couldn't really do much and and this kind of made it useless so after that i went over to to asphalt started playing a little bit and what i noticed in one version of asphalt is that the actual joysticks did not work so i had to use the d-pad however while using the d-pad it also was always turning to the left so i had to overcompensate if i was to let go it'll go to the left by itself so that's another uh, issue that i'm not sure what's causing that this was an issue whether i used the d-pad or if i used the actual joystick so final thoughts on this unit is that it's a great idea. It works in some applications, but other applications, you're going to be disappointed. So as far as the keyboard in general, the keyboard works fine on all the systems that I've tested on, whether you're on Windows, whether you're on Android, the mini keyboard, the trackpad, all the buttons work flawlessly. As far as the gamepad, it works great when you're on the Windows computer. If you guys are getting this strictly for a mini PC or something with a Windows operating system, I definitely recommend it. However, if you're like me who thought this would be a great controller slash remote for your nvidia shield i would not even bother uh, this had issues with the either usb interface or something was going on where it wouldn't detect all the time and then the buttons weren't working how they should be so i would stay away from this if you're buying this strictly for the nvidia shield now having said that if you're on the nvidia shield i would for now keep the keyboard and the game controller separate and i'll leave links to some of my recommendations in the description as well as the link to this keyboard slash gamepad if you're still interested if you guys have any questions drop it in the comment section below as always don't forget to like share and subscribe hit the thumbs up and i'll catch you on the next one